Coming in local tonight, last Friday, Glenn's Towing lost a valuable member of their team. 31-year-old Jesse Hetman was assisting a stranded motorist on I-41 when he was struck by a vehicle and killed. Tonight, heavy-duty trucks from across northeast Wisconsin made their way down I-41 in honor of Jesse. Local 5's Robin Ogenia was there. She joins us now live from the studio with the story. Robin? Aaron, Tom, Jesse's family and friends emphasize that tonight's gathering was not a funeral procession, but instead an honor run. Hundreds of semis, quads, and heavy-duty wreckers came from near and far to remember the man killed doing the job that he loved. It's terrible. A young man in the prime of his life, a uh, wife and two children. I mean, uh, it doesn't get any more tragic than this, really. This wasn't your typical memorial. <laughs> What started as a Facebook event turned into a huge motorcade. This is overwhelming. We we just feel such gratitude for the outpouring that we have received since Jesse was killed um, on Friday. Jesse worked for Glenn's Towing and was removing a stalled vehicle from the roadway when he was hit by an oncoming car. When you were out on this highway, any actually any road, um, you see any flashing lights, police officer, a wrecker, a fire truck, ambulance, you need to slow down and move over. Unfortunately, in this incident, the driver did do that. Uh, it just was a very terrible accident is what it really was. Slow down, uh, move over. Um, you know, all of these, these guys and gals want to go home at night, and I don't want to see another family go through what we're going through. It's very painful. Truckers and drivers were able to donate to the family as they drove in, which seemed like an endless parade of heavy-duty vehicles. We're all one big family. The towing family is just as more important as the police, fire, and EMS. While Jesse died tragically, his family says the community support is just what they need to get through this time. You go through feeling just numb and and um, and then this happens and it it. It's such a, a positive outcome for this. Um, so all I can do is say thank you to everybody involved with this and for everybody here. It's amazing. Jesse did leave behind a wife and two little girls. To find out how you can show your support for the family, head to our website, wearegreenbay.com, and click on this story under local news. In the studio, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News.